Hi, I'm Iku. It's 8 p.m. Just took my makeup off. I'm about to go relax after a day's work. And I just realized that in a week, I might be in Japan. And <laughs> I've been putting off not thinking about it because it's been, you know, cancelled twice so far. But I've never gotten this close. It's never been a week. It's always been like 10 or 9 days before departure where everything went to shit. So now I'm actually realizing, shit, it's like next week. <laughs> I'll be, I may be on a flight to Japan, which is absolutely crazy. I should, I, I need to start packing. I... <laughs> It's a week. It's a week. It's a week. It's what the fuck? Am I excited? Yeah. Am I freaking out about everything? Most definitely. I'm in Tokyo. How? What? When? Which one did I forget? <laughs> Where? <laughs> I'm in Tokyo, Japan, and um, <laughs> honestly, it's still it's still sinking in, and uh, I don't even know how to start this video. Hi everyone, I'm Iku from Iku Tree, and um, I'm starting this video on the second full day that I'm here in Tokyo, Japan. Um, if you don't know, I've been waiting to move here. For two years, I was supposed to leave on the 28th of March, 2020, and I landed here on the 25th, the 25th, 25th of March, 2022. So it took two years, well over two years if you count the preparation time, it took two years for me to get here and now that I'm here, like everything I don't know, it's, it's just such a mix of emotions that I can't put it into words but I wanted to start this video on the second day I filmed a bunch of things during um, the trip over and a few things yesterday I'm still figuring things out, I'm still trying to remember how to vlog um, I'm still like moving into this place um, so this video is going to be a little bit over the place, but let's start with the footage I filmed of my trip here over. quickly wanted to show you my first <laughs> kombini purchase since I've arrived in Japan because I'm famished but also keep in mind that I am friggin exhausted I have barely slept in the last 48 hours it's what time is it I can't find the real time yeah it's close to 9 p.m. I've only just arrived that's a sexy sound awesome but I have to find a, a cushion because that's gonna drive me mad I don't even remember what I bought, so obviously a big bottle of water because, yep, I'm parched, free and parched. Tea for tomorrow. 
yogurt for tomorrow because I have a fridge in my room. This taiyaki custard either for tonight or for tomorrow, depends how hungry I am. And of course, some onigiri. They didn't have much left because it's like late. Uh, what does it say? Seaweed? This one is seaweed and I think the other one is like pickled something. Pickled mustard greens. I don't know how good they are or not good they are, but I'm just so hungry and I've been craving onigiri for years now, so yes. I'll film more tomorrow. I'm just, I'm exhausted. I have no brain. I need to sleep. So I'm going to try and keep the process of how I got here as short and precise as possible and if you have any more questions about it, I'll answer them in another video. So I'm here on a student visa. Uh, that was the plan all along to go to a language school to study Japanese and be on a student visa and uh, that was the best way for me to get to Japan for a long-term stay because um, well, tourism is good but it's only three months and besides tourists are still not allowed into Japan ultimately a work visa would be awesome but I'm an illustrator and I draw and I edit videos for a living so getting that kind of work visa would be very difficult for me um, so student visa was a win-win because I was I'm now going to be able to learn in Japanese as a f almost full-time student. I think my classes are half days and uh, I get to be in Japan. Now the process after, well, we're at the end, well, fingers crossed and touch wood, we're at the end of a pandemic, but there are still a lot of measures that a lot of countries, including Japan, are taking to uh, prevent the spreading of the virus and its many, many variants. Japan it has a very strict restrictions, they're barely just open, so things are still like figuring themselves out and the process is very, very long. So I think at the end of February of 2022 is when they announced that they would let some people in, like a very specific uh, number per day, though there are more and more people that they're allowing per day to enter. Uh, students, uh, residents, artists, um, business track, not yet spouses, which is pretty sad, so uh, that's something to keep an eye out for on uh, platforms like Twitter, for those people to get heard still, because some, some couples, some families haven't been together for a very, very long time. Um, so yeah, end of February 2022 is when they announced it, so that's when the admin hell started for us. Uh, the school had to provide a brand new set of documents, and then once the... Let me remember how it went. Got the documents, had to wait maybe a week or... had to wait a while to get them. Um, which was quite stressful because everyone was wanting to book flights because there were only a few flights available, like it was kind of a rush. So once I got the documents, I made an appointment with the embassy, that went quite fast. I got an appointment the following week, I believe, and then once I gave all my documents, uh, I'm three times vaccinated, I had to um, prove that, give the new documents give my old documents from 2020 and um, officially reapply for a new visa since my old one that I got in 2020 was not, no longer valid but the past documents to apply for a new visa were still valid so applied for a visa I think it only took like four or five business days like not even uh, to collect my visa I had already booked a flight when did I book it? I booked the flight definitely before my embassy appointment. Did I book it before getting my school documents? I don't remember, but I booked it quite fast because, as I mentioned, there were only a limited number of people that were going to be allowed to the country every day. So there was kind of like this pressure to book a flight. And if you didn't know, that was my third time booking a flight. I hadn't received uh, my refunds yet, so it was like, oh, it was so stressful and by the way I put out a tip jar to help me with that flight and so many of you came through 
so so thankful i think we were at like 61 percent of our uh plane ticket goal so you guys helped me like for over half of my plane ticket it's amazing you guys are amazing it was wonderful i have since then got my refunds thank goodness so uh, all is well i feel much more comfortable being able to travel with a little more coin in my pocket if you know what i mean so it's a, it's a big project so it's a big deal and it costs a lot so anyway um got my visa had my flight um thinking about how it went after i got the visa um Yeah, I had to plan my PCR test. That was the next step. So I got the test. Um, you have to get it. You have to get it 72 hours before departure. I think I got it 56 hours before departure. You have a very specific document that you had to fill in. Um, I went there the first time. They said that I had to come back the next day to fill that document in, which was so stressful because the next day was the day before my flight. So I got the PCR test. Um, went home, I think I received the, the negative results the same day or yeah like in the evening, I got my test in the morning, got the results in the evening, I had to go back tomorrow like the next morning so luckily my mom was able to drive me because I was so stressed out about everything. Um, so I went back the next day with my document, had to run around the hospital for a little bit to figure out who could fill in my document but they did. Thank goodness they even gave me another you know, paper to like to prove that there were um, like a good testing center, like proof that they were capable of ha handling such tests. I mean, it's like one of the main hospitals from where I live, so, but they still gave me a paper. So thankfully everything went well. Then I registered for Fast Track via an, an application where you can put like basically all your, well, a good chunk of your paper documents, you can fill them in via that app. And that way, technically, when you arrive at the airport, you can like bypass. So, um, you basically have the questionnaire to fill in, you can do it with it via the app, it will generate a QR code. Very important that you do that before leaving. I think you can still do it when you're, well, actually, it depends, it depends on the airport. So, best to do it before you leave. You can sign the pledge uh, via the app. You need to do a pledge to like say, yes, I agree to every measure of that. Japan has put into place uh, to stop the prevention of the virus. It's a really long pledge, so read it all and sign. And the third thing is you can add like your vaccination certificates to the app. And the last thing, the most important one, is the negative PCR test. 72 hours before leaving, you can apply. Uh, you can upload those four, sorry, four things to the app, my SOS app. There's a specific way to get it do your research <laughs> uh, but that's what i did and once the app turns green that means everything has been approved and you can you are approved basically for the fast track lane unfortunately i don't know if it really helped in my case because um my flight was actually changed three times due to the war in ukraine all flights are being rerouted a lot of flights are being cancelled um even now so i feel very lu lucky that after three flight changes and phone calls and chat to customer service, I got my flight rebooked and it's stuck. Um, but instead of landing in Haneda like I really wanted to do, I had to land in Narita. I did Brussels to Helsinki, Helsinki to Narita. So the first flight was two hours and a half, the second flight was 13 hours and a half or 13 hours, I don't remember very long because I think it adds four hours to like go around uh, the war zone, like the Russian um, air space. So Narita, as you know, is a very big airport, so lots of arrivals and it took me five hours to get through all the checks, which is probably a record because I heard it took like four hours and sometimes like if you're lucky two hours for the fast track Haneda I definitely heard that it takes under two hours so if you can choose go to Haneda hopefully you'll be lucky but I landed on a Friday early afternoon and then there were so many lines you have to line up for like to check the fast track app and then the line to do your uh, spit test and then 
I feel like there was another line for something and then like the longest part was waiting for the results you're in this gigantic hallway probably like a, a closed gate hallway kind of thing like rows and rows of people and you're hearing all the numbers being listed out and you realize like you look at your number you're listening to the numbers and you're like there are 700 people before they call my number and i think it took at least three hours just for the, the test results then you have to queue for the results and then you have to queue for immigration and luckily when you're out of immigration your luggage is already there waiting for you because it's been five hours oh my god um <laughs> Yeah, I know like the ironic thing is like, oh, you know, like five hours is a lot but compared to the two, uh, two years that you've been waiting to enter Japan, like the amount of people have said that to me and I totally agree, it's hilarious, like five hours shouldn't seem like a lot but when you've just come out of like a 13 hour flight, you've barely slept because I mean airplanes, who, who actually is able to sleep in economy in airplanes, I don't know, managed to sleep like maybe two hours very lightly. I was like sitting on my chair waiting for the results. I was so dizzy and hungry and I wanted to sleep. And I started to get to my accommodation because Narita isn't even like in the center, like in the main part of Tokyo. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, except the wait, everything went super smoothly. Um, don't eat anything, like eat or drink anything. I'm, I'm sure water is fine, but don't take my word for it don't eat or drink anything 30 minutes before the spit test when i saw that i like i saw the sign i was like i was still chewing gum and i was like oh mother i was lucky i was super lucky <laughs> they should put those signs like like they should tell you before you even exit the plane but anyway you've been warned now so yeah exited the customs i didn't get searched thank goodness because i feel like that would have taken even longer i mean they just they just ask you questions and what you're doing like what your intended visit is for how long you intend to stay and i was out and then i had to find my sim card that i had booked thankfully i was with a japanese acquaintance that had come so graciously like from heaven to pick me up uh, so uh, they pretty much helped me out because finding that sim card was a whole other thing it was like call like this random telephone call the people that had to come over give me the sim card check my passport and everything and then I got driven to my accommodation like I didn't my plan was to drop off my luggage at a delivery service and then take the train and then the subway I didn't have to do any of that, thank goodness, um, but yeah, that was my plan B, so um, I don't know if this person is watching, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> like, oh my goodness, it saved my my sanity, because I was, I was close to the edge after that, um, so yeah, uh, I know I said I would make it as short as possible, but like, I'm really doing my best here and I'm not speaking too loud because it's uh, 8 30 a.m. Like, and, and I'm jet lagged because I woke up like around 4 and I couldn't go back to sleep <laughs> 4 a.m. So yeah it has been two days I'm going to include um, the rest of the like the tiny well no actually it's not tiny it's a very chatty next piece of, of footage I'm sorry this is a chatty video um, uh, filming on the floor by the way because I don't have my tripod with me um, I'm gonna include the next piece of footage. I also put a uh, ask me anything type thing on my Instagram stories. So at the end of the video, I'm going to be replying to your questions. So either skip to that if that's what you're interested in or um, enjoy these random little clips that I still have from yesterday. See you in a minute. Good morning everyone! Good morning from Tokyo! <laughs> this is the first time I'm showing my face officially since the departure. I think you see that I've barely slept in 48 hours. Well actually last night I slept 
quite well. I think I slept for about eight hours, the like kind of like waking up and stuff because it's a new place and new sounds and things like that. And jet lag, obviously, but yeah, face is super puffy this morning. <laughs> Oh my god! And I didn't expect to have to pull out my super woolly jumper. I really packed a summer, like spring summer suitcase, but this room is actually a little chilly, but I have air conditioning. I'll probably do more of a room tour when I've properly unpacked. I've unpacked a lot of things already, um, but things like clothes, I don't have like um, coat hangers and stuff, so. Uh, my mission for today is to find like a Daiso type store, like um, a, a dollar store, so where things are like one yen um, without tax. <laughs> um, well, I have a lot of things to say, I know, and I'm already all over the place. One thing is that I didn't pack like my big tripod, I only have this small handheld one, so until I can figure out like a higher place to put the camera this is the angle that I'm gonna have to work with. Well, my voice, this is the first time I'm speaking this morning. I think I just said like, oh hi, because I must have this one person I came across the hall and that's it, it's the first time I'm speaking. Today, I think it's 10 a.m. I spend the morning unpacking, um, figuring things out. What else have I done? I had my yogurt from yesterday. I just had it and then I took a swig of my tea and I forgot that it was super bitter, so after like the super sweet yogurt, I was like, what is this? I tried to unpuff my face, I brought my little jade, is it jade? No, it's pink quartz roller, but it didn't do much good. Wow, super puffy. My face is, uh, well, especially my skin, as you can see, is super unhappy after this very long airplane flight and all the stress from the weeks before and the airplane food and you know what, I think you get, I think you get the gist. Uh, I thought putting my hair in a ponytail would give me a bit of a facelift, but it didn't really work out. Um, I don't know how thin the walls are yet. I haven't really heard much noise apart from like people walking down the hall. So hopefully I'm not bothering my neighbors by speaking, but it's 10 a.m. I know it's Saturday, but it's 10 a.m. So it should be okay. Um, what else do I want to say? Because I haven't filmed the intro that you've just seen yet, so I don't know what I've mentioned. <laughs> so it's weird. Um, I probably already talked about everything that went on at the airport and all the craziness. Um, but yeah, my mission for today, like I said, is to find a Daiso. I want to buy... I'm going to see where I can buy a pillow because I rented bedding here for as long as I stay in this room in this shared house but the pillow and this thing is awful like look how flimsy it is and then you put your head in the middle and all everything inside goes like everywhere so I had to sleep on it like fold it in half and then woke up to refold it and try and place all the, the inside, I don't know what word to use, the inside of it, I had to like push it back and then I also had this to sleep on when it got too uncomfortable for my neck so I really want to find a good pillow and that means I have to buy uh, more sheets. Um, so I think that will be my number one priority. Pillow, coat hangers, there are other things I have to buy but um, I mean I'm on foot so I can't buy too much at once. So those are my my um, priorities. How many times I'm gonna say that word? <laughs> uh, the reason I can't go right now is because I have a meeting with like the house manager or like someone from the company that owns this building, so I can sign my contract. They gave me a little folder, but I haven't read everything yet. But I think it's like mainly how to sort my trash and everything. Um, like I said, I haven't read through it. It was really late yesterday, <laughs> and I checked my app my uh, Fitbit app and in 48 hours I think I slept like two hours and a half and it wasn't even deep sleep it was like light sleep with like a few minutes of REM so that was that was intense I don't know how I was alive well not alive but like functional last night but when I I remember the clip I filmed 
with the kombini food and I can realize that I'm I'm dead on my feet. But yeah, I, I, I have to flip through that folder thing. I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm... It hasn't... Like, it, I know it has synced in, but also it hasn't synced in that I'm here yet. I don't know. I can't explain it. I think people are starting to wake up. I don't know. I can hear much more movement. It's going to be weird being this in the shared house. I'll see how I like it and I'll see if I want to move to my own place or if that's even an option. I'm talking to myself again. That's not the point. I wanted to say good morning. I wanted to say that I'm going out to explore soon. Maybe I'll go out. Like I've got like a few hours before they arrive, but I don't want to like go all the way to Daiso and then have to rush back with bags of stuff. So maybe I'll go explore like the neighborhood a little bit and then come back, have the meeting and go back out. I don't know yet. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much how my day is going to be. It's Saturday, so I don't really know how busy things are. I'm not going to show you outside my window, obviously, because this is going to be where I live. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm in Tokyo. Which is insane. Insane, yeah. insane, insane. Oh, my, my face deep puffs. <laughs> um, yeah. Yep. See you in the next clip. This new tripod thing. Not working. <laughs> okay, this will have to do for now. Guess what? I went out to explore the neighborhood and I didn't take my camera. That's how long I haven't vlogged but I did take some photos on my phone to post on my Instagram stories so if you're not following me there it's Ikuchui same as here and that's where I'll post all my uh, Japan related stories and I'll probably post like the more like fancy edited photos to my second account which is linked on my Instagram anyway it's just my little personal account but yeah for stories it will be the main account so, like I said, I went out, I went to explore, I went to see if the sakura near the river uh, were in bloom yet. I'm not going to say which river, obviously, um, <laughs> but they weren't. I don't think so. Or I think the ones that were in bloom were still plum blossoms. Since I've never been in Japan in this time of the year, at this time of the year, I don't really know what sakura look like. So I went all the way there, I bought some onigiri on the way and ate them by the river on a little bench with the ducks and the pigeons. <laughs> and then I went to look for a daiso. So I didn't buy everything I needed yet, but since the things I bought were a bit bulky, I decided to come back here, put everything out. And then go look for a pillow. I still haven't found the pillow and I think I I don't think I can do another night with that pillow. So I'm gonna do Google research after that. Still got my super bitter tea that I haven't consumed at all. Pinkies up always. See, it's less bitter now that I haven't had some something sweet right before. But I guess when I think about it, I've only had one yogurt and two onigiri as a meal all day, which is not good. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna figure things out eventually, but anyway, turn on the camera to show you what I bought. It's not much, but maybe it's interesting for some people. I don't know, like I haven't, I didn't bring my camera out to film, so you're stuck with a little Daiso haul. I, I'm starting to hate that word. Um, first of all, I bought this Echo Badu because I knew things were gonna get bulky and I was afraid that if I asked for a plastic bag, everything would fall out in the middle of the street and I did not want that to happen. So, uh, most of the things were planned, so I didn't do too many impulse purchases. Because you know Daiso is like, oh my god, everything is cheap. Um, I'm doing air quotes because they seem cheap, but some items are in a more like um, pricey area and sometimes you don't see it, so I always check the tag and obviously in Japan, they don't add the tax on the price, uh, if I remember correctly. In Belgium, you buy something and the price tag that you see is like the final price. In Japan, if I remember clearly, the 
price, the taxes added at the till. And the lady was super nice. <laughs> I like that. So, what are we gonna start with? Something that I didn't think that I wanted to buy was a small cushion. I'm gonna take the price tag off. Oh no. Don't you hate when the plastic stays in? I don't even know if I have scissors yet. Hmm. I didn't come across them when I unpacked this morning, so I probably don't have scissors anyway. We'll hide this for now. <laughs> so I bought a simple cushion. There were like nice ones, but I just wanted a simple cushion because the chair, the one chair that I have in my room is... Can you hear it? So every time I move my butt, it goes like squeak, 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 and it drives me insane. And you know, I have a lot of office work to do, like desk work to do with the desk. So I bought a cushion to put under my butt so I wouldn't have to listen to the squeaking sound. Um, speaking of desk, totally unrelated, the desk is Hane. Um, I'm gonna have to figure that out at one point. It also depends how long I stay in this accommodation, so if anyone has any recommendations, the te desk is... I got a message on my New Japan number. Okay, <laughs> I'll check it later. I was saying, the desk is super narrow. And I usually work with my PC, my laptop, and then in front of it is my Wacom or Wacom Cintiq. So it's a second screen, a screen in front of a screen, and it's easier for me to have one in front of the other when I work. So like I don't have to do like this. I might have to do that for a while anyway, but maybe they're like extend. Um, a big board I can clip onto it or just put on top of it but I'm always afraid like it will flip so if you have any recommendations on how I can make a table bigger in Japan because <laughs> I can't figure out shops yet I'm all ears okay let's keep going um, I bought a small mirror oh it has a stand behind it okay I thought it was only a hook mirror but it has a stand because, uh, you know, putting on my makeup with a tiny mirror is impractical, I'm not sure. It's probably something I'm going to have to put on the desk while I'm doing my makeup and then put down or do my makeup on the floor. But small mirror, 200 yen. Oh, there you go. It says the tax. Uh, I don't know if it's inverted, but 200 yen and 220 with the tax. I'm pretty sure that's the kanji for tax. Zay something. I think tax is zekomi, so maybe this is zekomi. I'm not sure, okay? Please don't laugh at my shitty Japanese I haven't studied in six months, okay? I don't remember anything. I bought a shit ton of coat hangers, like I said I would do. Oh, they're all... Oh no! Stop fusing with each other. I said Dragon Ball. Okay, there we go. Bought the cheapest ones. Uh, I don't have really heavy clothing. I don't know if it's too much or too little. The area, oh, you can actually see it. This is all I have to hang clothes, like these two little things. So we'll see how that works out. But I have a lot of dresses. Summertime is coming up. Please don't break my hair. Bought some coat hangers. Bought this to hang the smaller items of laundry. I actually have a line wall to wall that I can attach and detach. Right now it's permanent, well not permanently, but since I've been here it's been out because I put my towels on there anyway, so... Yep. And then... For my makeup brushes, for my jewelry. These are the only two containers that I bought so far. I didn't want to go overboard. Like I said, I don't know if I'm moving yet, I don't know how I'm going to organize things, so I'm not going to go overboard yet. I bought some pegs in case, well obviously, right now my towels are drying over it, but if, if I have to try some other oddly shaped piece of clothing, I bought those. I bought this random toothbrush holder, because right now it's laying down on a clean flannel. I don't want it to touch any surface, so saw this baza. Translate that uh, future iku to my brain. I bought <laughs> this was also impulse buy a room fragrance mist because this room is a little bit stuffy and it's a little too cold to open the window. 
and I was gonna just like spray my perfume, but obviously I don't want to waste it, so I sniffed it real quick and it kind of smells soapy, so I thought it might be okay. It says, please enjoy the gentle fragrance and a gorgeous flavor which smell light slightly. Which smell slightly. So I guess I can it kind of sounds like gorgeous flavor, like and it, it smells slightly. Let's see if it smells slightly. It's really fresh. I don't smell it much. Oh, it just smells clean. That's good. I can deal with that. It's not like this awful chemical smell that I can't stand, so... It smells very soapy, so I'm fine with that. I can like spray the curtains or something that'll give me a soapy smell. And obviously I wanted some wet wipes. Always super handy and obviously I saw the Pokemon ones. They have like other Pokemon themed wet wipes um, like to clean the floor and surfaces, but so far I only want need ones for my body. I use them quite a lot actually, so... Wet wipes and that's all. See? Very reasonable. It came under 2000 yen, so under 20 USD. Though I think that's changed. The currency rates have changed recently, so don't quote me on that. But what I usually do is just take two, the last two numbers away and I have an approximate idea. We can check, actually. Hey Siri, what's 2000 yen to euro? 2,000 Japanese yen is 14 euros and 92 cents. See, that's it. like all of this for 15 euro, which we're off to a good start. It gives me more to find a good pillow, which I'm gonna tidy all of this. My tea is giving me hiccups. Tidy all of this and um, then I guess I'll, I'll go back out. <laughs> No, I'll Google where to buy bedding and then I'll go back out and buy it. It wasn't too busy for a Saturday because I know I'm, I'm blah 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 blah. Um, <laughs> because I looked on my phone uh, at the Daiso and it said, um, what was the word? As busy as it gets. And I was like, oh man, it's gonna be like crowds and shuffling and stuff. There were people, but it wasn't like. Noir du monde, again, future Iku, thank you for translating. I guess once you add Japanese to my brain, I, I can't translate shit anymore. Okay, this was long enough, and I'm gonna go clear this up, and if I do a good enough job, maybe I can show you, but... I want to show you my room where when it's not in the middle of things, so... See you later. I'm still a bad vlogger my laundry but <laughs> I took the bus for the first time in Tokyo so I was very focused and I went to Nitori it was Nitori yeah Nitori and I bought a new pillow that's old pillowcase but new pillow a big banana that I can hug at night comforter and then I spent the rest of the afternoon packing out that's not is that a word packing out unpacking <laughs> unpacking my suitcase and I had a bit of supper and now I had a shower, I'm in my pajamas and I'm gonna relax and uh, try and get some sleep. Hopefully I sleep even better tonight because these dark circles under my eyes need to go away. See ya! Good morning everyone. Well, <laughs> I woke up at 4am because I had to go pee. Now I can't fall back asleep. This is the second night in a row where this light from the hallway is keeping me awake. <laughs> Underneath, ugh, I can't really see my finger, but here, I put a bunch of shoes to try and block the light, because that's where it's the brightest, but... Hmm, either I'll get used to it, or I'll have to find a solution, because the lights in the hallway never turn off. Welcome back! If you made it this far without skipping ahead, thank you so much. If you skipped ahead, I am- um, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> I totally understand. This is a long AF, very chatty video, so. I'm going to reply to your questions that I got on Instagram stories. I think this is like the most amount of questions I've ever got 
on one of these little uh, question things. There are probably some that are repetitive, so um, let's just go through this. So uh, there are questions about the process, like how my days have been, like since I received the letters uh, from my school. Um, so the process, obviously I've already talked about it. If you have any extra questions from the beginning of the video, please write it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Um, and to like the more mental side of how, how things have been, it's been a rush, it's been hectic, it's been stressful and I couldn't really like believe that I was going to Japan until I actually got to Japan because I was always thinking about the next step, like go to the embassy, get the visa, do the PCR test. I was always focused on the next task and I couldn't like, it didn't sink in actually until I landed. Like not even maybe, maybe until I was in the car with this acquaintance and I could see like the Tokyo buildings, maybe that's when I actually realized. I don't know, like it was, it was a crazy last couple of, like actually a whole month since they announced it like end of February, so yeah, if I look exhausted, it's not just the flight, well it's mainly the flight, like all these eye bags and everything and my body feels a little, a little like sluggish and swollen and jet lag and my skin is acting up and yeah, it's mainly the flight over but also like I've been super stressed out before and like eating um, kind of junk food, like things that are super easy to eat because I didn't want to like kid do a big food shop and stuff so it's been hectic. <laughs> How does it feel being in Japan finally? I'm feeling all kinds of emotions like some like sometimes like I can't believe I'm here sometimes I don't believe I'm here right now I'm in a room but I could be in a room anywhere it's like mainly when I go outside I'm like I'm actually in Japan or when I'm paying for something and I don't understand what's like what I'm reading or what people are saying to me and like <laughs> how does it feel I <laughs> I still can't put it into words. I, I know it's weird, but I, I can't. But I'm definitely happy, definitely happy about it. There are some like bittersweet emotions, obviously, because my family's back home, my beloved cat, like, <sighs> I miss him so much. I know it's weird to miss my cat like so much more, but it's more like, I feel like I'm afraid that um, he feels like I abandoned him. But luckily, like, I mean, he's with my mom. My mom works from home, so she'll be with him all the time. And I know she'll take care of him, but it's like, I miss him so much. So, like, bittersweet emotions, super happy to be there. Like, also very anxious because I still have some admin to do. And I still have to figure things out, like, simple things. Like, there's the washing machine in this building. Everything's in Japanese. There are no instructions or anything. So it's like, I have to figure everything out. And I feel like... A teenager who's just like moved out of their parents house and has to figure like how to cook or like how to do laundry basically <laughs> there are some questions about where I live I'm not gonna say that for security reasons um, like what word am I saying at where you're living uh, what's my favorite area in Tokyo um, well previous to this trip over it has always been Asakusa haven't been there since I moved but it's only like day two morning of day two so um at the moment i'm gonna say asakusa but i'm sure i'll discover more and more places that i will learn to grow and love to grow and love that, will, that i will learn to love that will grow on me jeez did you get a residency card at the airport yes i did and I'm super proud of it and um, I don't know which photo they took probably the one that's on my COE because I look much younger than I am now and I think my hair looks a bit under so <laughs> thankfully they didn't choose the one um, where I arrive at the airport or maybe they did but I, <laughs> I, I look okay vanity I know but I feel like everybody is a little self-conscious conscious I can never say that word Everybody's just a little self-conscious of their ID photos 
or is it just me? Will you do vlogs? Um, I intend to. I've completely forgotten how to do vlogs. But keep in mind that I'm not traveling uh, like before, like as a tourist where I'm visiting something exciting every single day. I'm now living here basically so and I also have my um, freelance editing job that I have to keep up with so I'm gonna have school I'm gonna have my job and then life in general so I don't know how things are going to go um, I don't know how the vlogs like the tone of the vlogs are gonna be I hope I'm not waking my neighbors up I'm really doing my best not to speak too loud I don't know how the vlogs are gonna be but uh, it is my full intention to to do so just bear with me while I find my footing. What do I study in Japan? I'm gonna be studying Japanese, basically. I'm gonna be learning how to speak, so I think that's the best option for me because at the moment, I don't understand anything. Like, I took six months of like everyday Japanese uh, via Zoom at the beginning of last year, and then I did six months of absolutely nothing, and I feel like I've forgotten everything I learned during those six months, and probably a lot of things I learned back when I was taking evening classes in Japanese. It's embarrassing, but I, I had basically given up on going to Japan, so I just like put everything aside for the past six months. So, studying Japanese, and I'm going to go back a few classes because, I, like I said, I've forgotten everything. Do I already earn my current place, or um, do I have a current solution at the moment? Uh, I am in a social residence at the moment, which means I have my own room, but everything else is shared. So I think it's basically a fancy name for shared house. I'm gonna be staying here for now. I'm gonna try and get used to the sharing situation. If you know me, I'm quite an independent person. I like having my own place, but this is my situation for now. Um, I didn't have to quarantine. I totally forgot to mention that during the um, explanation process at the beginning of the video i'm belgium is no longer required to quarantine and since i have three vaccines uh with um accepted vaccines in japan i didn't have to quarantine at all so i could go straight to my um shared house let's just call it a shared house straight to my shared house and um i'm gonna gonna try and live here i'm gonna try and like share everything and have people walking down the halls um, and um, like see people first thing in the morning where I'm like my face is all puffy and I'm wearing my pajamas and I'm going like to brush my teeth and you know <laughs> kind of try to get used to that and like carrying my clothes after I shower from like the first floor to my floor and be like what if my panties fall out of my pile of clothes and I cross paths with someone <laughs> I haven't done a lot here yet, but I'm slowly gonna get used to it. Do I have a YouTube for my little vlog series plan or just YouTube Japan plans in general? Uh, so yeah, that just relates to kind of the vlog question. Um, I'm just gonna try and do YouTube. I don't have plans, proper plans, like vlogs, probably not daily vlogs. I don't think my life is gonna be that interesting. Yeah to do daily vlogs but like yeah I'll figure it out as I go <laughs> that's gonna be my answer once I have like a proper uh, like daily schedule I think I'll be able to figure things out a little more when is school starting in April so not long now um, I think I start fourth or seventh I think like fourth is like the admission admittance ceremony like this entrance entrance ceremony and then the seventh I think is the official start of my school how long am I staying? I'm starting with six months and if I like it I can stay longer if I've had enough after six months I can go home um, let's hope I like it because <laughs> after all of this I want to stay longer than six months and also obviously it has to depend if like my money runs out or like anything can happen but hopefully all goes well Funniest thing to happen thus far, um, nothing yet, nothing like hilarious has happened, um, I haven't made like silly mistakes, I haven't seen, um, I guess something funny, it's funny to me it was just walking by a river and seeing like people, like a, uh, an elderly couple kayaking in it, 
I know it's not ha ha funny, but I was like, oh. <laughs> that's weird. Um, what else? Like, sure, sometimes I can't figure out how to pay. Sometimes they ask me if I want a bag and I don't know what they're saying because I didn't catch like the Fukuro word. Um, I haven't seen really funny things yet. So I'll have to wait till I'm here a little longer to answer that question. Did I move to Japan? Am I near Tokyo? How long am I staying? Yes, I moved, but as a student. And I'm in Tokyo. How long am I staying? About six months to start with. I have, I have Michelle saying, I hope it's okay if I call you by name. Uh, But they're so happy for me. Um, oh my god. Thank you so much. It really means the world to me that you left that little comment. Um, thank you. And you've been watching this channel for a very long time. So thank you for, so much for sticking around. Best thing I ate so far. Um, onigiri. I haven't eaten a lot of food here yet. Uh, but onigiri was the first thing I ate when I arrived. Uh, first like I went to the konbini, it was late so they didn't have many flavors left but definitely that, that was the thing that I've been craving for these past two years was konbini onigiri for sure um, I'm gonna try going food shopping like not konbini food today that's kind of my mission for today so wish me luck what am I looking forward the most to? I'm looking forward to getting used to being here and not like being constantly worried of making a stupid mistake um <laughs> I, i'm looking forward to getting used to yeah to, to life here basically um and i mean many other things obviously like i'm looking forward to meeting my classmates i'm looking forward to um sunny weather because at the moment it's just gray and rainy looking forward to seeing sakura for the first time um looking forward to discovering um, new places in Tokyo, revisiting past places in Tokyo, of being able to travel outside of Tokyo. I mean, there are so many. It's endless. Um, yeah. <laughs> no questions, just super happy for you. Thank you so much. Favorite vending machine this far? Um, I'm ashamed to say that even though I've been here since Friday night, I haven't done a vending machine yet. I've actually been waiting for the opportunity so I can do like the whole vending machine of the day thing. Um, maybe today is the day. Who knows? Uh, I've just been so busy. Like it's mainly been running around and getting things for this place and unpacking and stuff like that. But maybe, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to go see my school. So who knows? Who knows what can happen? Uh, how much Japanese do I know compared to when I visited here? Uh, I've, did I answer this in this segment or in the beginning of the video? I don't remember, but I definitely answered that in the fact that I don't remember anything at all. Like, it's so bad. It's embarrassing. Like, I think my brain just put Japanese away and put it behind a wall uh, to avoid any more trauma because of these past two years so I'm trying to reaccess it hopefully I will be able to once my class start and everything comes back to me so fingers crossed for that and Michelle's back with an actual question how is to finally be in Japan? how would you describe the process? that's the last question I'm going to be answering because I feel like I've mainly already answered this and the floor is getting really uncomfortable um, so yeah I've already talked about my feelings here like mixed feelings, bittersweet, happy, excited, worried, nervous um, positive and optimistic but also being like are we good now? like are we good? <laughs> please let things be good um, so yeah like I the process is how I explained it at the beginning of the video and like emotion-wise it was like stress, 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 like happiness and then 
things sinking in and getting over the jet lag and my voice is going away. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how to say it in other words than I already have. So I'm gonna leave it here for now. I hope this is a good enough answer mixed with the things I've said previously. Like, it's mixed feelings and I feel like my body needs to recover from the stress and get used to things and deep puff from the plane and all the junk food and hopefully today I can go food shopping like I can start like maybe I can figure out what I want to eat for breakfast most of the time while I'm here like that would be like baby steps in the right direction and then I'll start figuring out how I want to handle lunch and like be healthy I don't want to eat kombini food for six months yo so Okay, if I'm correct, with everything I've filmed since, I was gonna say Friday, but I left on Thursday from Brussels, this is gonna be a hella long video, so I'm gonna leave it here for now, and I'm gonna start the day with a new vlog and see if it goes anywhere. See you in the next one, whenever that is, whatever that is. Feel free to give me ideas of things you want to see. Hope you're well. Leave your questions in the comments, leave your suggestions for future videos in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for sticking around. We made it. We made it guys and uh, thank you. I'll read you all.